We're getting ready to create some cross section sheets. The next step in our Open Roads Designer demo. I'm going to jump over here into Open Roads Designer and we're going to create a seed file. Not a seed file, but a empty sheet file from a seed file that we're going to use to create place our cross section sheets in. So we're going to copy the seed file. I'm going to rename it. This is just something I do for the demo. It may not be your workflow. I'm going to rename it to xssheets.dgn. I'm going to open that up. And after we get that open here in a second, we're going to start attaching our reference files. We're going to need the corridor and we're going to need the alignment. So there's the corridor, there's the terrain, there's the geometry file. Make sure we don't got the sheets turned on. Now we're going to set up two views. We're going to set up a plan view and a profile view sitting side by side. Or not a profile view, a 3D view. My apologies. So we've got that set up. We're going to start with a with name boundary and place name boundary start the process. We're going to set the seed file to a cross section 10 scale sheet. We're going to click on the beginning station. We're going to highlight the alignment. You see that dynamic lines are coming in there to help you put in the alignment. We're going to type in 510 plus 00 for the first one. So here in a second you'll see the dynamic lines pop in. They're showing you where the the cross sections are going to get cut. Um, Right now, we're just doing them at regular intervals. There's also a dialogue down there to do critical sections and add extra sections and stuff. Here you can see the, the boundaries of where the, the uh, slices are going to get cut through the model that are going to be placed on your cross-section sheets. So I'm going to just adjust this a little bit so you can kind of see this. And there you go. There's, there's where the cross is. So I'm going to go back to name boundary. We're going to actually cut the sheets. So I'm going to click on that toggle. That's a toggle. That's going to open up this um, create sheets dialog. It's kind of got more stuff that you can select. Um, I'm not going to change anything at this point. I'm just going to hit OK. Process our sheets. You can see the progress bar green going down there in the lower right. I'm going to open it up. And there's a cross section sheet, the last one of the set. It's got two cross sections in it. There's all the models and seed files, or not seed files, but the, all the models that were used. Uh, it's got the boundary in there for the models, got the actual cross sections. And so all these cross sections are all in this single DGN file as different models. Each one of these cross sections is a drawing model that's being referenced in here as well. And because of the annotation scale and the live attachment and everything, that means whenever there's a change being, all this stuff will dynamically change to the sheets. So there, there's one of the drawing models that's being referenced in. And the annotation there is just something we threw together. Um, it's probably going to get changed. Uh, it's just an example of something that we can do. I mean, several points there are being flagged as being, you know, being labeled with a station and, or an offset and elevation in the cross section. Now I'm going to go back in there and I'm actually going to generate something that we call a sheet index with these cross sections. So we're just going to redo that cross section generation process. And when this dialog comes up, we're going to click on a box down here below that says Add to the Sheet Index. We click OK. You're going to see the progress bar go. It's generating sheets. I'm going to shortcut it here. Jump into our first sheet. I should say our last sheet. And I'm going to take a look around. It's the same thing. We're also going to go up now. I'm going to go to the Home tab and click on the Explorer. Pull it up. And in there, you'll see there is a section for the sheet index. We're going to expand out sheet index. Um, 
You can see the 10 sheets that were generated in there. Again, that's all models within this one file. And so we can actually click between the different sheet index values and pop between the models of the different sheets. So there we got the grid and the text around the grid. That's all considered annotation now. It's all being placed in the drawing model and being referenced in here. Um, it's not part of the sheet anymore. You can also tell it's a it's a, a sheet model and it's white. And that's why it's white. 